Miles, I see we have our first setup here. Can you tell us what we have here? Yeah, um, we um, decided we'd start with a few of the pieces of furniture from our Harris Grove collection. Um, Harris Grove is our entry price point um, wooden furniture group. Um, it's made of eucalyptus, which is a really good wood for outdoors. Um, it's um, a lot less expensive than teak furniture. Um, but just as durable, it has a, has a um, real good success rate outdoors. What it's going to do after um, several seasons is, is that it's going to weather to sort of a gray color. Um, it's oiled, has an oil finish on it. Um, and what we thought we'd do in, in this little tight area here is, um, you know, start off by thinking about the space and, and designing our space and um, trying to determine, um, you know, one way to define a space is to, and, and to kind of tighten it up. I think a lot of times when people are doing their porches or their decks, if it's a big space, it gets a little bit overwhelming and you're not sure where to go with, um, with what you need to do. So one thing to do is to sort of um, just identify your space and then set your parameters. And what we've done here is we've put a nice indoor-outdoor rug um, on the floor. Um, our customers are real fond of braided rugs, and one that we um, have carried for, for many years is our wood run. It's a nice polypropylene braid that you can put down. Um, really, it's going to do just as well outdoors as it does indoors. Um, real high performance um, materials making that up. So, um, what you have here is something that can get wet. You can throw it over the banister and let it dry, and it's going to be just as good um, after um, several months as it is now. So, um, what we've done is we've put a nice burgundy wood run rug down, and we're going to come in with our Harris Grove glider, which is a real popular piece for us because, you know, obviously people really like motion, rocking chairs, gliders, swings anything that you can kind of lazy away the day on and um and this is a good piece so we're going to start with our with our Harris Grove glider then we've got some um some occasional occasional um chairs that can work with that some easy tables um one thing that that we find and and, and something that's very popular for our customers is um, outdoor cushions. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a quick and easy way to sort of um, spice up um, spice up, up your patio and kind of show a little bit of um, individuality. Right now we've got um, two different cushion programs. Um, one of our cushions is um, our, our classic cushion program. This is a new fabric that we're offering this year. It's a moss floral or what we call our moss floral. Um, one of the things that we try to do um, with our our cushion selection is to, is to uh, select things that are going to coordinate back to other pieces. So um, you'll notice here we've got, um, we've chosen just a, a, a plain forest green for our, um, for our chairs. We have our moss floral on the glider. Um, and what we'll do here is we'll pull in Some nice throw pillows, which can give you we'll tie that burgundy color from the rug into the into the glider. So Miles, can you tell me about um, the chair that we have here? You said it was made of eucalyptus wood. What makes eucalyptus wood special? Um, I think what's made eucalyptus really popular is, um, to be completely honest, is, is price point. It's a, it's a wood that's going to endure outdoors. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's something that um, is going to gray sort of and, and age really really gracefully and, and it's, it's going to have a really pretty look after it's um, aged for a while. Um, it's going to, you know, it's, it's a hard wood so it's going to, you know, withstand um, water and, you know, just the, just the different elements that you're going to come across out in an outdoor situation. Um, it is something that over the course of time, a lot of people like to oil it, you know, to kind of, you know, keep the moisture in the wood so that it, it it's, you know, stays looking newer. Other people like the way that it looks when it gets gets gray. So it's um it's just a good wood for outdoor outdoor use. Um, this particular um, particular piece um, comes unassembled comes unassembled, so customers do have to assemble it. Um, and of course, you know, being a mail order, you know, business like you know we are at Plow and Hearth, there's a you know, we have to mail everything, so obviously, you know, putting things in smaller packages is real important to us, so um, customers do have a little bit of assembly to go, but a very simple assembly. I'll give you an idea of, um, of this collection. Um, it does include a dining set. Um, it also includes a chaise lounge for someone who's looking for something for, you know, next to their pool or something where they can recline and relax. It has a bench as well as this glider. 
um, just as a um, to let you know, the, the glider, for instance, is $199.95. Okay. Um, the chairs are $109.95. Uh, the, the end table there, $79.95. And our outdoor sideboard, um, $89.95. So um, um, a good value um, for wood furniture that's going to hold up for a long time on your deck. Um, and something that I think a lot of people enjoy. We've certainly had a lot of success with it. It's a, it's one that we've carried for many years, um, and, um, and and something that I think would be um, right at home on um, a deck here in Culpeper County. Sure. Well, it's it's very beautiful and affordable.